Hello there, welcome back to Max's Cards and Dice Dugout. This is episode number 108, and it's Stratomatic Baseball, Old Timer Kings, King of the Hill Tournament, game number 33, which has the 1960 Pittsburgh Pirates hosting the 1957 Milwaukee Braves. Before we get to the starting lineups, let's take a quick look at the hill. And that's two in a row for the Pirates on two incredible pitching performances from both Bob Friend and Vern Law, both pitching complete game shutouts. And today they're taking on the 57 Braves, who just got um, Red Shane Deist back. So he's back in the starting lineup for the Braves today. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. Oh, and I should mention that the uh, 50 Phillies are on deck with the 50 Yankees in the hole. All right, first for the visiting Milwaukee Braves, leading off in center field is Billy Bruton. Batting second at shortstop, Johnny Logan. Batting third at third base, Eddie Matthews. Batting fourth in right field, Hank Aaron. Batting fifth in left field, Wes Covington. Batting sixth at first base, Joe Adcock. Batting seventh, Red Shandies. He's at second. Batting eighth, Del Crandall. He's the catcher and on the mound. And batting ninth for the Braves is Lou Burdett. In 1957, he was 17 and 9 with the 371 ERA and 257 innings pitched. He gets the number two pitcher hitting card. For the current Kings, the home Pittsburgh Pirates here at Forbes Field, which I forgot to write down on the scorecard. Leading off in center field is Bill Verdon. Batting second at shortstop is Dick Schofield. Batting third, Bob Skinner. He's in left, batting fourth, Dick Stewart. He's at first, batting fifth, Roberto Clemente. He's in right, batting sixth is catcher, Smokey Burgess. Batting seventh is Don Hoke. He's at third base, batting eighth, Bill Mazeroski. He's at second and on the hill. And batting ninth is Vinegar Bend Mizzle. I've heard it pronounced Mizzle and Mizzle. I'm going with Mizzle. I don't know if that's correct or not. But Vinegar Bend or Wilmer. Mizzle in 1960 was 14 and 8 with a 3.50 ERA and 211 innings pitched. He gets the number one pitcher hitting card. And we are ready to get underway here. Uh, I should mention that uh, Dick Schofield is playing shortstop for the injured. Dick wrote, who will be out five more games. That includes this game. All right, so Billy Bruton steps into the batter's box. Mizell is ready, and we are underway. That's a ground ball to first baseman, Dick Stewart, and he's going to take that one unassisted for the first out of the game. So one out, nobody on, and Johnny Logan shortstop for the Braves. Braves are looking for their second win and their second trip to the throne of the hill. That's a ground ball back to Vinegar Bend. He tosses over to Stort for the second out. And there are two away here in the top of the first. That's going to bring up Eddie Matthews. Eddie Matthews. It's third baseman for the Braves. He hits a fly ball to right field. That's going to send Clemente back at the start of the track, and he's there, makes the catch. And that's three up, three down, four. The Braves in the top of the first, and with one half inning in the books, we are scoreless with the Pirates coming up to bat. So Lou Burdett takes the mound for the Braves. And he's going to face Bill Verdon, Dick Schofield, and Skinner, Bob Skinner. And that's a strikeout. One down, first strikeout for Burdett. Forgot to mention, uh, Mizzle gets his first fatigue point. So there's one away. And shortstop Dick Schofield. That's a one-out single for Schofield. Hits this one right up the middle. Makes the turn at first, but he'll hold there. So there's a man on first with 
one away. Schofield's stealing is an E, so he's no threat to go anywhere. And here's left fielder Bob Skinner. He hits a ground ball to second base. That's the red Shandies. He It's an X check, and Shandies is a one. And we roll a 12. And that is going to be a four, six, three inning ending double play. Shandies to Logan, or excuse me, to Adcock and then to Logan. Or excuse me, from Logan to Adcock. Got it right the first time. And they get Schofield at second. And after one inning of play, we are scoreless. Lou Burdett gets his first fatigue point of the game. And Mizell's back out. First batter he's going to face is Hank Aaron. That's a leadoff single for Hammer and Hank. So he's on first with nobody out. And here comes Wes Covington, left fielder for the Braves. Here in the top of the second, no score. That's a fly ball to right field. And Clemente is under that. He makes the catch. And that's going to force Aaron to hold at first base. There's one away. Mark Stork by mistake, so I'll have to remember that in the bottom of the second. So there's a man on first with one out, Joe Adcock. It's a ground ball to second base. It's an X check. And Bill Mazeroski is also a one. Like his counterpart, Red Shandy, so we roll an 11. And that is going to be another 4 6 3 inning ending double play. That's Mazeroski to Showfield and then over to Stort, and that's it for the Braves in the top of the second. So with one and a half in the books, we remain scoreless. Mizell gets his second fatigue point. And Lou Burdett's out here for the bottom of the second. First batter he's going to face is Dick Stewart, Pirates first baseman. And he pops that one up. It's going to stay in the infield. And Logan's under that. It's short. He makes the catch for the first out. And there's one away. That's going to bring up Roberto Clemente, right fielder for the Pirates. And that's a strikeout, strikeout number two for Burdett. It's two away here in the bottom of the second. Two outs, nobody on. Smokey Burgess, Pirates catcher. Here in Pittsburgh, PA at Forbes Field. He hits a ground ball to third base. Eddie Matthews over to Joe Adcock, and that's it for the Pirates. As they go one, two, three in the bottom of the second, and with two innings complete, we remain scoreless. Lou Burdett gets his second fatigue point. Vinegar Van Mizels back out, and first batter he's going to face his Red Shandies. Who's back in the lineup for the Braves after an injury? He hits a ground ball to shortstop. And Schofield is a three, roll 14. And Schofield boots that one, gets into the outfield. And Shandy's is going to go into second on a two-base E6 error. So the Braves are in business with their leadoff man. It's the first error of the game. And that goes to the Pirates. 
So Shane Dees is on second with nobody out. And catcher Del Crandall. It's a fly ball to center field. It's going to be an X check. That's Bill Verdon. He's a one. And we roll a 16. Nice play by Verdon out there. It's going to force Shane Dees to hold at second base. So there's one away. And pitcher Lou Burdett. Comes up to the plate, and we're going to try to move Shane Deist over to third. And we roll a six. Batter is thrown out by third baseman. Runner advances one base, so that is a sacrifice for Lou Burdett. Gets red Shane Deist over to third, and the sack 5-3, and there are two away. So Shane Deist is on third with two outs. Back to the top of the order. And center fielder Billy Bruton, who is one of the doppelgangers in this old timer Kings set or tournament, I should say. And he draws the walk. So now there's going to be runners on the corners with two outs for the Braves. And that's going to bring up Johnny Logan. Logan is 0 for 1. And here he strikes out, and that's going to end the inning. So Vinegar Ben gets out of the jam by getting the K. That's his first strikeout of the game, and with two and a half innings in the books, we remain scoreless. Wilmer gets his third fatigue point. And here in the bottom of the third, leading off for the Pirates, will be third baseman Don Hoke. He hits a ground ball to second base. Easy play for Shane Deist over to Joe Adcock for the first out. And there's one away here in the bottom of the third. Bring up Pirates second baseman Bill Mazeroski. And he hits a line drive right, out at, right at Eddie Matthews, who makes a nice play for the second out. There's two away here in the bottom of the third. And that brings up pitcher Vinegar Bend Mizell, or Mizell. If anyone knows the correct pronunciation, because I've seen it both ways uh, watching YouTube videos. Uh, maybe there isn't a correct one, I don't know. <laughs> don't know what uh, Wilmer preferred or his family preferred, but here he is at the plate. He pops this one up, it's gonna stay in the infield. And Joe Adcock's under that near the first base bag, makes the catch for the third out, and that's it for the Pirates. And with three innings in the books, we remain scoreless. Burdett gets his third fatigue point. Mizell's back out here for the Pirates in the top of the fourth. And the first batter he's gonna face is third baseman Eddie Matthews, who is 0 for 1. This time, Matthews draws a walk Leadoff runner for the Braves. Matthews on first, nobody out, and Hank Aaron. Aaron is one for one. He's singled back in the second. And he hits another ball up the middle. That center fielder, Bill Verdon, fields pretty quickly. That's going to hold Matthews at second, so... The Braves have runners on first and second with nobody out. And Wes Covington at the plate. Covington is 0 for 1. This time he hits a ground ball to first base. And the only play that uh, Stewart has is to force Aaron at second. That's going to allow Matthews to move up to third, and Covington reaches on a fielder's choice. So there's one away with runners on the corners here in the top of the fourth, and Joe Adcock comes to the plate. 
Uh, Pirates are playing the infield back. That's a ground ball to short. It's an X check. Showfield is a three. And we roll a five. And the only play that Showfield has is to first base to get Adcock on a 6-3 put out. That allows Covington to move up to second. And Matthew scores. And the Braves take a 1-0 lead here in the top of the fourth. There are two outs. And Red Shandies comes to the plate. So... Mizzo gets his fourth fatigue point. Runner on second, two outs. Braves lead, one nothing. And here's Shandy's. And he strikes out. So that's it for the Braves. Strikeout number two for Vinegar Ben Mizzo. But the Braves do score. And after three and a half... It's the Braves one and the Pirates nothing. And Vinegar Ben gets his fifth fatigue point. So here in the bottom of the fourth, Lou Burdett's gonna face Bill Verdon, Dick Schofield, and Bob Skinner, the top of the Pirates order. And Burden pops this one up. It's going to stay in the infield. Joe Adcock's under that over at first base for the first out. There's one away. And Dick Schofield playing for the injured Dick Rote. Schofield is one for one. Singled in the first. It's the first time up. This time he hits a fly ball to center field. That sends Bill Bruton back to the track, and at the track, he'll make the catch for out number two. There's two away here in the bottom of the fourth. Nobody on for Bob Skinner. Pirates left fielder. Skinner hit into an inning-ending double play his first time up. This time, he hits a fly ball to center field. Billy Bruton's under that. And just as the last batter, he makes the catch for the third out. Pirates go one, two, three. And with four innings in the books, it's the Braves one and the Pirates nothing. Lou Burdett gets his fourth fatigue point. And leading off for the Braves here in the top of the fifth will be Del Crandall. Crandall's 0 for 1. It's a ground ball to second base. It's an X check. Bill Mazeroski is a one, and we roll a five. Nice play by Mazeroski, and from his knees, he fires over to Dick Stewart for the first out. 4-3 put out, and there's one away. It's going to bring up pitcher Lou Burdett. He hit a sacrifice bunt his first time up. And this time he strikes out. That'll be strikeout number three for Wilmer. And there's two away here in the top of the fifth. Back to the top of the order for the Braves and Billy Bruton, who is 0 for 1 with a walk. And look out. He hits a deep fly ball to center field. That sends... Verdon back to the wall. It's off the wall. And Bruton cruises into second base with a two-out double. So with two outs and Bill Bruton on second, that brings up shortstop Johnny Logan. Logan is 0 for 2. This time he hits a ground ball to third baseman. Poke over to Stewart for the third out on the 5-3 put out. And that's it for the Braves here in the top of the fifth. 
They do threaten, but can't get Bruton across the plate. And with four and a half innings in the books, it's the Braves one and the Pirates nothing. So Mizzle gets his sixth fatigue point. And here in the bottom of the fifth, Lou Burdett is at four. First batter he's going to face is Dick Stewart, who's 0 for 1. Ground ball to second base. It's an X check. Red Shandies is a 1. We roll a 16. Nice play by Shandies. Over to Joe Adcock for the first out. So one away here in the bottom of the fifth. Nobody on, Roberto Clemente. Clemente's 0 for 1. He struck out his first time up. This time he hits a ball down the third base line that Wes Covington gets to quickly, but it is a one-out single. For Clemente, so he's on first with one out and catcher Smokey Burgess. He pops this one up, it's gonna stay in the infield. Eddie Matthews is under that, calls everyone else off, makes the catch, and there are two away. So, two outs Clemente's on first, and Don Hoke. Hoke is 0 for 1, but not any longer, because he hits a ball down the left field line, Covington gets to it quickly, Clemente moves over to third, ball gets back into the infield, and Hoke holds at first base with a two-out single, so the Pirates have runners on the corners with two outs. And second baseman, Bill Mazeroski, who is 0 for 1. See if they can get something going here. Mazeroski hits a high fly ball to left field. Wes Covington's under that, makes the catch. And that's it for the Pirates here in the bottom of the fifth. So they do threaten, but cannot score. And after five innings, it's Milwaukee 1 and Pittsburgh nothing. Lou Burdett gets his... Fifth fatigue point. Mizell, who is at six, is out here for the top of the sixth. And leading off for the Braves will be third baseman Eddie Matthews. And he strikes out first out here in the top of the sixth. And the fourth strikeout for Wilmer. So one out, nobody on. Hank Aaron. Aaron is two for two. This time he hits a fly ball to deep center field that sends Bill Verdon back to the track. He's at the wall, makes the catch for the long, loud second out. Two away, nobody on, West Covington. Covington is 0 for two. Hits a ground ball to shortstop. It's going to be an X check. For Dick Schofield, he is a three. Let me roll a six. Nice play by Schofield. Fires over to Dick Stewart for the third out. And nothing from the Braves here in the top of the sixth. So with five and a half innings complete, it remains the Braves one and the Pirates nothing. Uh, Lou Burdett, or excuse me, Vinegar Ben Mizell gets his seventh fatigue point. Lou Burdett, who is at five, comes out here for the bottom of the sixth, and I think that's going to be it for Mizell because he's leading off here. And let's see who we're going to have pinch hit for him. going to be backup first baseman Rocky Nelson. Warming up for the Pirates is Fred Green. Or no, excuse me, not Fred Green. It's 
Tom Chaney warming up for the Pirates. So he'll be ready to go in the top of the seventh, but uh, Rocky Nelson is going to bat for Mizell here in the bottom of the sixth. The Pirates trailing one nothing. All right, here's Nelson. It's a ground ball to third base. Eddie Matthews over to Joe Adcock and one away. So the Nelson experiment doesn't work. We'll keep that pitcher card. Cheney's a two. I'm just going to flip it over. So we'll keep that in the uh, lineup just so we don't lose track of that. So we're back to the top of the order for the Pirates here in the bottom of the six. Nobody on, one out. Bill Verdon. He pops this one up. It's going to stay in the infield. Red Shane, these calls everyone off, and he's under that, makes the catch, and there are two away. So two outs, nobody on for shortstop Dick Schofield. Schofield is one for two. It's a fly ball to right field. Hank Aaron's under that, and he makes the catch for the third out. Pirates go one, two, three. Again, and with six innings complete, it's the Braves one and the Pirates nothing. Lou Burdett gets his sixth fatigue point. And coming out here for the Pirates in the top of the seventh is relief pitcher Tom Cheney. Or Cheney. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. We're going with Cheney. In 1960, Cheney was 2-2 two and two with a 3.98 ERA and 52 innings pitched. He's listed as a starter reliever, so he will get seven fatigue points before he is fatigued. So Chenny is in the lineup. First batter he's going to face is Joe Adcock here in the top of the seventh. And Nelson pinch hit. And then Chenny in top of the seventh here. Okay. <clears throat> Here's Joe Adcock. And not a good start for Chenny. Lead off single for Adcock. Right up the middle. He holds it first. Brings up Red Shane Deist. And Shane Deist is 0 for 2. It's a ground ball to short. It's an X check. Schofield is a three and already has an error in this game, and we roll a four. And his only play is to first base. That's going to allow Adcock to move up to second. There's one away, a man on second base, and Del Crandall, catcher for the Braves. Crandall is 0 for 2. But no longer, because he hits a ball down the right field line that sends Clemente into the corner, but he gets to the ball quickly, holding Crandall to a single, but that's going to score Adcock. He comes in, and it's now 2 nothing in favor of the Braves. Crandall gets the RBI. It did mark that. So man on first with one out, and pitcher Lou Burdett. And he's going to try to move Crandall over. And he puts one down to third base line. The only play for Hoke is to throw over to first to Stewart for the second out, so it's another sack for Burdett. And that allows Wes Crandall to move up to second. So there's two outs, a man on second, back to the top of the order, and Billy Bruton. And Bruton hits one down the right field line. 
Clemente gets to it quickly, but Crandall comes around and scores. And it's now 3-0 in favor of the Braves. And I don't think I gave Cheney. I did not. He has two fatigue points now. Not a good start for him. And there is some more activity in the Pirates' bullpen. It's Joe Gibbon warming up. So Bruton's on first with two outs. And the Braves lead 3-0. Here's Johnny Logan. And Logan hits a ground ball to first baseman Dick Stewart. He's going to take that one unassisted for the third out. But the Braves do pick up two more runs on some small ball. And after six and a half, it's the Braves three and the Pirates nothing. And Cheney gets his third fatigue point. Remember, he is a starter reliever, so he would be fatigued at seven. Burdett's back out here for the bottom of the seventh with a three-run lead. And first batter he's going to face is left fielder Bob Skinner. And Skinner hits a line drive to third base that Eddie Matthews makes a hit-saving play on. And there is one away. Good defense from Matthews on that one. So one out, nobody on. And first baseman Dick Stewart. Stewart is 0 for 2. It's a fly ball to center field. It's going to make him 0 for 3. Billy Bruton's under that. Makes the catch, and there are two away here in the bottom of the seventh. Nobody on. And Roberto Clemente, who is 1 for 2. He's left stranded at third base back in the fifth inning. And look out. This is a fly ball to deep center field. Sends Bruton back to the wall. And it's off the wall. Bruton recovers quickly. And Clemente cruises in the second with a two-out double. The Pirates are still in business. Two outs, a man on second. And Smokey Burgess. And Burgess hits one up the middle. That's a single. Clemente's over to third with two outs. He becomes a 1-17. to And he's going home. The throw from Bruton is not there. And the Pirates are on the board. So Roberto Clemente slides in and is safe. Smokey Burgess with the two-out RBI single. And it's now 3-1. And Lou Burdett gets his seventh fatigue point. So a man on first with two outs. And third baseman Don Hoke. Pirates trail 3-1. Hoke pops this one up. It's going to stay in the infield. Eddie Matthews is under that. Makes the catch for the third out. But not before the Pirates score a run. And after seven innings... It's the Braves three and the Pirates one. Burdett gets his eighth fatigue point. And we go to the top of the eighth. Tom Chaney is still pitching. He's at two. As a starter reliever, he would be fatigued at seven. And he's facing Eddie Matthews here in the top of the eighth. It's a fly ball to right field. It's the next check for Roberto Clemente. He's a one. We roll a 13. And at the track, Clemente makes a nice play for the first out. So one out, nobody on for Hank Aaron. Aaron is two for three. A couple of singles. This time he hits a ground ball to second base. Bill Mazeroski over to Dick Stewart for the second out. Two up, two down for the Braves in the top of the eighth. And that brings up Wes Covington. 
Covington is 0 for 3. It's a ground ball to second base. It's an X check. Mazeroski is a 1, and we roll a 10. And Mazeroski fires over to Dick Stort for another 4 3 put out and a 1 2 3 inning for the Braves. So with 7.5 in the books, it's the Braves 3 and the Pirates 1. Cheney gets his fourth fatigue point. Lou Burdett, who is at eight, is out here for the bottom of the eighth. And the first batter he's going to face is Bill Mazeroski. It's a fly ball to right field. Hank Aaron is a two, and it's an X check, and we roll a two. And a nice play by Aaron right near the foul line. Retires Mazeroski. There's one away. And the pitcher's spot is up, so that's going to be it for Tom Chaney. And Hal Smith is going to come to the plate to pinch hit. Warming up for the Pirates is Joe Gibbon. He'll be ready to go in the top of the ninth. So we got Hal Smith... Pinch hit in the bottom of the eighth for Tom Chenny. So Chenny's day is done. There's one out, nobody on, and pinch hitter Al Smith. And Smith hits a ground ball up the middle for a one out base hit. The Pirates are still in business. The tying run is going to come to the plate at the top of the order. And that's Bill Verdon. Verdon is 0 for 3 with a strikeout. And there is some activity in the Milwaukee bullpen. And that is going to be Ernie Johnson. Ernie Johnson warming up for the Braves. Here's the bottom of the eighth, excuse me. Man on first, one out. Back to the top of the order, Bill Verdon. It's a fly ball to center field. It's an X check. Bill Bruton is a two. We roll a 20. And Bruton makes a nice play out there. And that forces Smith to hold at first base. So there's two away. And shortstop Dick Schofield. Schofield is 0 for 3. But here he hits a two-out single. That allows Smith to move over to third. He's going to have to hold there. Pirates have runners on the corners with two outs. They are still in business. And here's left fielder Bob Skinner. Skinner is 0 for 3. Burdett is still in there. And he hits a ground ball right back to Lou Burdett. He jogs over towards first base. And throws to Joe Adcock for the third out. And that's it for the Pirates here in the bottom of the eighth. They do threaten, but can't get a run across. And with eight innings in the books, it's the Braves three and the Pirates one. Lou Burdett is at nine fatigue points. And the new pitcher for the Pirates is Joe Gibbon. In 1960, Joe Gibbon was 4 and 2 with a 4.05 ERA and 80 innings pitched. First batter he's going to face is Joe Adcock here in the top of the ninth. Now let's get that updated on the score sheet. So it's Gibbon. 
top of the night. All right, here's Joe Atcock. And it's a leadoff single for Adcock. Braves looking for some more insurance. So man on first, nobody out. Red Shandies, who is 0 for 3 in his first game back from injury. This time he hits a single. To right field, or excuse me, left field. And Adcock's going to hold it second. So the Braves have runners on first and second with nobody out. And so far, things not going so good for Joe Gibbon. And he gets a strikeout. First out of the inning. First strikeout for Gibbon. There's one away. Lou Burdett is staying in the game. And once again, he's going to try to move those runners over. He's been successful so far. And he hits a ground ball back to the pitcher. Joe Gibbon only plays over to first. And another sack for Lou Burdett. Shane Dees moves to second. Adcock to third. And the Braves have runners on second and third with two outs. Top of the order, Billy Bruton. But Bruton, hit, Bruton hits a ground ball to second baseman Bill Mazeroski. Over to Dick Stewart for the third out. And the Braves threaten but can't get another run across. But they do have a three-run lead. Or excuse me, a two-run lead. 3-1 after eight and a half. So Gibbon get his first fatigue point. And Lou Burdett's going for the complete game so far. But there is some activity in the bullpen. And looks like it's going to be Don McMahon warming up for the Braves. He'll be ready if needed. But right now, it's Lou Burdett's game. And leading off for the Pirates here in the bottom of the ninth is first baseman Dick Stewart, who is 0 for 3. Pirates trail 3 to 1. Stewart hits a ground ball back to Burdett. He jogs over towards first base, tosses to Joe Adcock, and there's one away here in the bottom of the ninth. So one out, nobody on. Pirates trail three run. 3-1, excuse me, and Roberto Clemente. He hits a ground ball to shortstop. Johnny Logan over to Joe Adcock. 6-3 put out, 2 away. Two outs, nobody on. Last chance for the Pirates, last hope, Smokey Burgess. And Burgess is one for three. Burgess pops this one up. It's going to stay in the infield. Red Shane Deese calls everyone off. He's under that. Makes the catch for out number three. And this game is over. And the Pirates are dethroned from the hill. They go a tumbling. And the new Kings are the 1957 Milwaukee Braves. Let's get some totals. First for the Braves. They had three runs. On ten hits, no errors. Pirates had one run on seven hits. And they committed one error. The winning pitcher, of course, is Lou Burdett, who goes the distance. And the loss will go to Wilmer Vinegar Bend Mizell. 
So that's going to do it for this episode. The next time we have Stratomatic Baseball on the table for the Old Timer Kings King of the Hill Tournament, and it'll be game 34, and it will be in Milwaukee, and the 1950 Whiz Kids from Philadelphia will be visiting the Braves. But that's it for this episode, and if you hung out with me today or tonight, thanks for spending your evening or afternoon or morning with me. And I'll be back again in the near future with another replay video. And until then, take care.